everybody, Ruth here from Kangaroo Kids. Today I'm going to be baking some cupcakes for Rue the Kangaroo's fifth birthday. She's asleep right now, shh, but when she wakes up, when she wakes up, I'm going to surprise her with some special cupcakes. Now I bought this from Tesco. It's a Paw Patrol cupcake kit with coloured icing mix and edible decorations. It actually comes with little Paw Patrol decorations here. We're not actually going to use the Paw Patrol ones. I bought something different. So I have ordered these. It says Happy Birthday Rue Love from Coco. Because as you know, Coco and Rue are best, best friends. All right. So these we're going to cut out. I'll show you when we do the decorating part about how we cut these out because it's an icing sheet with plastic on the back and then we can peel off the circles ready for the cupcakes. So that's not what we're gonna do now. We're going to do the baking first, the baking, and then when the cupcakes have cooled, we will get on to the decorating like Georgia Rue did when she baked the carrot cake for Easter. Okay, let's check what we need by looking at the box. So when you go to the back of the box, it tells you what else you need in addition to the packs that you've got in the box, okay? So we also need a medium egg. I've got some eggs, some milk, I've got some milk, which I presume you can also use non-dairy, you can use oat milk or whichever milk you like. I've got a bun tray, a tray with some silicon cupcake holders. You can use whichever kinds of cupcake holders you like. In fact, this actually came with some little Paw Patrol ones as well, if you wanted to get that. So the last thing is some water. So I have a measuring jug so I can work out exactly how much water I'm going to need by measuring it. Okay, good. Let's get started with our baking, boys and girls. Put your cupcake cases in a bun tray ready for later. We've done that. Make sure the oven is turned on. So I've turned it on to 160 on a, for a fan oven. Okay, so it says that all about what to do, depends on the oven you've got. I have a fan oven, so I'm going to put it on 160. Empty the contents of the sponge mix. This is the sponge mix. It comes in a packet like this. Into a large bowl. Here's my large bowl. I'm going to pour all of this in here. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, make sure it's all in there. And we'll put the plastic aside for recycling later. Okay, let's shake that up a bit. So you'll be able to see there is a sponge cake mix in there. Now the next thing we need to do is to add the one egg, one egg. So we'll take our one medium size egg, okay? And we're going to crack the egg and put it in there. As well as two tablespoons, that's a tablespoon of cold milk. So we pour the milk on and we do one, two. So I'll show you how we do that. So to crack your egg, you just want to take the egg and you want to tap it on the side of the bowl and crack it open like that, okay? So we go tap, 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 and then we let the egg go into the bowl like that. Very good. I'm gonna wash my hands a little bit because I've got a little bit of egg on there. And that's always a good idea to wash your hands if you get anything raw that isn't cooked yet on your hands, make sure they're clean. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is get those two tablespoons of milk, okay? So, tablespoon one that's one and then we I'm just gonna check because I'm pretty sure that we're doing this now that's right and then we're gonna use the mixer the next one two another tablespoon of milk goes in I'll show you what we have in there now boys and girls so we've got the sponge cake mix in there together with one medium size egg and two tablespoons, tablespoon size, okay? What you eat your cereal with, <laughs> two tablespoon sized um, portions of milk. 
Right, now I'm going to take my electric whisk, which looks like this. Okay, so we use an electric whisk to make it nice and creamy and lovely and fluffy when we eat the cakes. So it says now, mix them all together and whisk for about one minute until the mixture is lovely and creamy. Well, that sounds good, doesn't it? So we're going to turn this on. You'll need a grown up to help you with something like this, boys and girls. So we turn it on. Oh, it's very loud, isn't it? So we put it in to the mixture. And we mix it around. getting there I'm going to do it for a little longer and then the next thing we need to do is carefully share the sponge mixture between the 10 cupcake cases so I'll show you how we're going to put all of this into the cupcake cases because we put a little bit because it, remember it's going to it's going to grow it's going to rise up in the oven all right so let's do this for a little bit longer Okay, that looks really nice and creamy now. One more go. Okay, one more go to make sure all the lumps are out. And then we take these, the whisk heads out and we put them in the wash. We're gonna put them in the sink so we wash them later on. And I'm going to unplug my electric whisk and put it over here. Now you will see there is a very nice creamy mixture ready to pour into the cupcake cases. I'll show you what they look like. So we've just seen them before, lots of lovely colours. What colours have we got? We've got a red one, a yellow one, a blue, a green, and then what's this colour? Rue's colour an orange one, an orange one. So what I need to do now is make sure that I pour this in nice and evenly between all of the different cupcake cases. Okay, it says carefully share the sponge mixture between the 10 cupcake cases. Bake in the center of the oven for 12 to 15 minutes until risen and golden brown. Okay, so we leave them in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. I'll check after 12, and if I think they need a little bit more um, baking, I will put them in for another three minutes, I think. Then I'm going to take them out of the oven and leave them to cool down completely. I'll just leave them because they'll be nice and cool before we put the icing on, okay? So that sounds like a good plan. Now, I will use two spoons. I'm going to use two lar large teaspoons to scoop the mixture into each of these cupcake cases so I'll go like this and pop them in okay I won't be able to show you exactly how I'm doing that but I'll show you the first scoop will be a bit like this but we don't want it to drip oh yes I can show you so you put a little bit in there like that okay and then you go round and you evenly fill each one you don't want to put too much in in them because remember we've got to spread it around all ten 10 cupcake cases. So put a little bit in each one and then you can top them up with a bit more if you need to. All right, well, I'm gonna get on with this now, everybody. But remember, you can buy this if you'd like to have, give it a go and perhaps put the Paw Patrol characters on there as well. Um, and then in the next part of this video, you will see me decorating the cupcakes and putting the lovely message from Coco, which says, happy birthday, Rue, love from Coco the Koala. Well, thank you for watching this first part of the baking of our cupcakes. And then I'll be back shortly, very, very soon, once these are baked and they're cooled, cool cupcakes, we are going to decorate them. Great, see you all soon. Okay, so we've put the cupcakes in to the oven. Okay, guys, so my cupcakes have been baking for, they were baking for 12 minutes, and then I checked and they needed a few more minutes so I've let them bake for 15 minutes so that's three more minutes okay and now I'm going to get them out of the oven so you're going to see what I'm going to do 
Okay, so I'm going to open up the oven here. Don't go too close because it's really hot. Oh, very hot. Like, whew, whew, whew. you can see the cupcakes have risen beautifully and they look lovely. Don't they look so nice? And I'm going to take them out and then leave them up here just on the hob. And I'm finish the washing up. And I'm going to leave them to cool completely. Okay, boys and girls. So the cupcakes have nearly cooled. And while they've been cooling, I have been doing the washing up. Now I've got washing up gloves. I've got some fairy washing up liquid and I've been washing everything up. And it's really, really, really important to make sure you clean up after yourselves. I'm sure you do. And I'm sure you always help your grown ups. So well done with that, everybody. Hi, everybody. So now for the next step, we're going to make the icing to go on top of the cupcakes. So here is a very nice cooled cupcake. Um, smells delicious <laughs> and we're going to cut open the icing pack so it says icing mix on it it came in here didn't it okay so we're going to cut that open I like to cut it open the, over the bowl so it doesn't make too much of a mess and then we're going to pour it into our bowl just like that okay Oof. <laughs> lots of icing sugar it goes everywhere when you do this kind of thing okay and then let's pop the plastic aside again all right, so we see what we've got in here is some icing mix. Okay, so I need to add two to three teaspoons of water. Now a teaspoon is a lot smaller than what we used before. So this is a tablespoon and then we're going to use a teaspoon now. All right, so we're going to, I've got the measuring jug here with the water. So I'm going to take two to three. I'm going to start with two in there first. One, two. And let's see what it looks like. And it says you have to mix it carefully until the icing is thick but still pourable. So we might need a little bit more. Oh, it's gone blue. Look, it's going blue, which means there must be some blue food colouring in it. I knew it was going to be blue, but it's amazing to see it going blue like that already. I think we definitely need some more water. So I'm going to put another tea, teaspoon in because um, that's where it says two to three. OK, and I'm going to keep mixing it to see how thick it's going to get. We might need another teaspoon of, um, of water. Let's see how it goes. We don't want it to be too thick. We don't want it to... I'm actually just going to pour it like this because I can see what I need. I think I need a little bit more. There we go. That's right. That was probably more like four that we needed, but let's see. Oh, it's very blue now. Look how blue that is. Wonderful. It's really like a Paw Patrol blue colour, isn't it? It's getting nice and thick. But still pourable. It says it must be pourable, which means you can pour it over the cupcake. Lovely. Looking really nice now. Look at that. Lovely blue colour just like our Paw Patrol colour. All right, so I'm gonna leave this here now and I'm going to show you how we cut the circle for the Coco Koala Cupcakes, okay? So this is lovely, the right pourable mixture now. It will be nice and pourable. And I'm going to, I'm gonna use my Kangaroo Kids mat here to put this down here so we don't make a mess on the table. And then also put over it some kitchen roll and then the cupcake can sit down like that. Okay, I'm just going to move so you can now see my cupcake. Good. So there's the cupcake there, everyone. And we're going to cut out a circle to go on top. The icing will go on first and then the circle. Okay, now I've got some big scissors, but I also thought that maybe I'll try and see how I go. But I might need some smaller scissors. You might have smaller scissors at home. But let's see how we, we go with cutting with the big scissors, first of all. OK, it's not too difficult. You've got to follow all the way around the circle to make it as neat a circle as you can. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit jaggedy, because remember, they're going to be eaten anyway. OK, it's looking really nice. A nice circle for the cupcake. And then... Keep going round gently and carefully, like when you would do cutting at school, nice and gentle. 
Okay. Very good. We're nearly round. And it looks like that. Okay, now I believe we are supposed to peel off the back. That's correct because the back was plastic. So we would peel off the back. And now this is just a lovely icing, an icing circle or an icing, um, cocoa icing circle. A circle, a round circle. Okay, now I'm going to pour, it says here, using a spoon, divide the icing equally between the cupcakes. Well, we're just gonna do one for now, okay? We're just gonna do one. And um, we use the back of a spoon, just like the back of the spoon to just smooth it down. And then we'll pop our lovely circle on, a lovely message for Rue, because she's gonna be so excited when she sees that in the morning, isn't she? So lovely cupcakes for her birthday. So, good. Use a spoon and divide the icing equally and we will do some smoothing as well. I'm going to use a little spoon for this because we don't need so much really, do we? We'll start with a little bit first. Just put a little bit, tap, tap, tap it on there and then smooth it out with the back. A little bit first and then I'll keep adding some on there to see how much I might need. Because remember, most of it's going to be covered by this anyway. But let's put some icing because the icing's also really yummy. All right, so let's put a bit more on. I love this blue colour. I keep saying that, but it's such a beautiful colour, I've got to say, everybody. It really is. So I'm going to keep moving my cupcake round like this, and you keep moving it and using the back of the spoon, and then you'll make a nice little, little blue circle or area for us to pop our picture on it, okay? running a little bit down the side but that really doesn't matter because it will look nice if it's even bl more blue so we can just let it go all the way around and a bit further down and then we're going to put our cocoa message on there good i might put a tiny bit more on actually because <laughs> it looks a little bit pale in color which means that's not very dark at the moment looking great you've got to be it's quite fiddly you've got to be very gentle with the back of your spoon okay so now it looks like that pop that spoon back in because i'll do the other ones after and then we'll take our icing disc we call it a disc or a little circle and we shall pop that on there so it can dry and rue will be so happy when she wakes up in the morning she'll and she'll see her cupcakes and also um she's still asleep at the moment but when she wakes up we're having a party for her did you know that i think a lot of you do 10 30 this morning we need to get our party outfits on i'm gonna wear these these are a bit funny aren't they these leggings with um kangaroos on them and i'm going to wear also a tutu skirt Maybe, I think, because that's really like a party clothes, isn't it? But you know what, boys and girls, you can wear whatever you like. You could even wear your pyjamas. Okay, because you might feel comfortable. So it doesn't matter what you wear. It's just decide which character you might want to be. You might, might want to be a Paw Patrol character, like from the icing, from the cupcakes. Or you might want to be a superhero or a frozen princess. You can be whoever you like. You